We all know Erling Holland as a new rising star from Norway. No doubt he is quick, fast and efficient, but where did he learn these excellent skills? Do you know that Erling's father was a great footballer in his time? Without a doubt, he surely transferred his talent to his kid. Keep watching to find out everything about the football player behind the new superstar from Norway. Yes, I mean Erling Holland's father, Alfie Holland. Holland, who was born in Stavanger and was raised in Brene, joined the youth program of his local team Brene FK in 1979. And at the age of 17, he made his debut for the main squad in 1989. A year later, he joined the club and signed his first professional deal. After a drawn-out transfer, Holland arrived in England and joined Nottingham Forest of the First Division. Brian Clow began pursuing Holland in October 1992, and under Frank Clark's direction, the deal was finalized in December of 1993. Against Leicester City, he made his Forest debut. Holland joined George Graham's Leeds United in July 1997. On August 9th, he faced Arsenal on his Leeds debut. Roy Keane suffered an anterior cruciate ligament injury in September, as he was pushing with Holland for the ball while Manchester United was down 1-0 to Leeds United at Elland Road. Holland, who was not aware of the seriousness of the injury, stood over Keane while he was lying face down on the ground and lectured him, saying that Keane was only faking being hurt to get a penalty. As Keane was taken off the field on a stretcher, Holland was arrested. Keane was sidelined for over a year. The record was later repeated by his son, Erling Holland, on October 2, 2019, while playing for Red Bull Salzburg. Holland scored a goal in a 3-1 loss to Liverpool on December 26, 1997 at Anfield. During the 1999-2000 season, he was a member of the lead squad that advanced to the UEFA Cup semi-finals and earned a spot in the Champions League. Under David O'Leary, Holland was mostly utilized as a versatile player, playing in midfield and defense. Holland moved from Leeds to Manchester City in 2000 for a £2.5 million price. When Roy Keane attacked Holland in April 2001 during a game against Manchester United, he kicked him high on the right knee, for which he was immediately dismissed from the game. Of the incident, Holland said, I'm only glad my leg was off the ground, otherwise he would have done me a lot of damage. Keane was hit with a £5,000 fine and a three-match suspension. A year later, in his book, Keane claimed that the tackle was a planned, intentional act of revenge against Holland for the on-field criticism he had received from him three and a half years before. Following this confession, Keane discovered that the FA was looking into him. He claimed that his ghostwriter had inaccurately paraphrased but instead was given an extra five-game suspension and fined £150,000 for defaming the sport. Holland first said that Keane wouldn't dare look him in the eye after the tackle, and he once said, I really dislike Manchester United and I can't stand their players. Holland had a contract with Manchester City that was supposed to last through the conclusion of the 2004-2005 season, but it's stated in the contract that the club may cut all ties with him if his health prevented him from returning to the first team. The City chose to use this option. As mentioned in the sporting news, as part of City's closed season spending spree, George Weah, a former AC Milan star and Ballon d'Or winner, joined to create an explosive striking partnership with record signing Paolo Wanchope. Holland was not the headline signing. On the opening day of the season, City traveled to fellow Premier League newcomers Charlton Athletic and was humiliated 4-0. On their home debuts, though, Holland scored and Wanchope assisted him to a hat-trick in an exciting 4-2 victory over Sunderland. The such inconsistent play was typical of a squad attempting to catch up to its own successes from the previous two years. Long-serving defender Richard Edgehill was dismissed from his captaincy after a disastrous performance in the next game, in which he scored an own goal in a 2-1 loss to Coventry City. In his debut game as captain, Holland led City to a 2-1 victory over his previous team Leeds, 
after being given the armband. In a 2-0 victory over Bradford City in October, the Norwegian scored his second goal of the year. Later, his son Erling Holland joined Manchester City. After breaching Holland's 60 million euro or 51.2 million pound release clause, Premier League team Manchester City declared on May 10, 2022 that they had reached an agreement to sign his son Erling Holland. On July 13, City officially announced that Holland will begin a five-year contract and join the team on July 1st. On July 30th, in the 2022 FA Community Shield loss to Liverpool, 3-1, he made his professional debut. He played the whole 90 minutes. In a 2-0 away victory over West Ham United on August 7th, he scored twice in his league debut and filled the place of his father successfully. Erling Holland said about his transfer into City and especially about his father on Manchester Evening News that, First of all, my father played a small role in deciding. I was born in England. I've been a City fan my whole life. I know a lot about the club. And I think in the end, I feel a bit at home here. And also, I think I can develop and get the best out of my game. He lived in England. He played for the club. Of course, a lot of things have changed in the last 20 years. But he lived here so he knows what it is and we've just been speaking about basically how it is, what's the best for me, what's this, what's that, and try to figure out everything and he's been a good dad in that thing. In a friendly game against Costa Rica in January 1994, Holland made his international debut for Norway. Later, he was selected to play for Norway in the 1994 FIFA World Cup, where he faced off against Mexico and Italy. With his final international appearance against Bulgaria in April 2001, Holland earned a total of 34 caps. Along with Halvar Thorison, Dan Egan, Epson Bardson, Hans Hermann Henriksen, and Joshua King, Holland is one of the few players who have represented Norway without ever competing in the top league of their own country. Aside from football, Erling and Alfie Holland are both excellent in money management. Alfie Holland has substantial stock investments that generates income for him. Recently, father and son both bought an M600 private jet, which costs millions of dollars. Please subscribe if you liked the video. Erling Holland is supported by a famous father and is on a good path to seizing all those big records that can boost tall boys' football numbers. Check out the video in the top right corner to know the secret diet and training routines of Erling Holland.